welcome to 29... No, wait, dash that. Hey, welcome to 2020. It's the first week back here at Mirkush. Everyone's been uh, having a lovely Christmas vacation. There's a lot of stuff on the agenda for our first month back. We're doing some experiments with mocapping a handheld camera. Our composer is finally getting the chance to get back into music after having to dedicate himself to the world of sound directing for all too long. And there's there's a lot of D&D. A lot of D&D. We want to be like, let's do it. <laughs> Alright, so the story so far is that we're trying to do the cinematics for the game uh, with a handheld camera. So what we did was we got this mount and we just simply mounted motion capture uh, markers to it so we can actually track it in the space. And in theory, by tracking this in the space with a mounted iPad, we can actually get the real-time view into the engine so the director can actually look at his subjects walking around the space like this. Uh, we've been trying to get this thing to work and it's really difficult. Of course, we started off with the iPad, that did not work. We needed the mount so we could track it properly. Then we got the mount, we had problems getting it working with Unreal Engine. Then we had to get uh, the Vicon motion capture system to actually capture the markers. Now we got the tracking and picture working, but it's not working together. <laughs> right now we're trying to do a test to try to combine these things and fix the offset of the virtual camera that we're tracking in the iPad. I lost the charger for this iPad, I have no idea where it is. So we went out, actually I called four stores, I spent 40 minutes on the phone this day calling four different companies. I was on hold on two of them for like 15 minutes and then they basically told me we're too busy, call again later, which I did. Basically just to get the news that they did not in fact have this piece that we were missing to actually charge the iPad. Oh, we need a charger thing for the iPad. We're desperately looking for it all over town. Well, I have one at home. And we actually drove to our house to pick it up, but then we thought, oh, let's drop by the, uh, the store and get some new mice. Uh, but then I walked by this in the aisle, contrary to the, what the person on the phone was saying, so we actually managed to find this. Uh, so we actually plugged it in and we're charging it. And you would think, just similar with phones, it would start up immediately, but it seems like it's taking its sweet time to actually get running. And this is kind of what's standing in our way. So hopefully we'll have this up and running today or maybe in a in uh, two days. So, music. We made a narrative system, and we decided to add music cues to the narrative system. This is genius. So, during the multiple choices you have during dialogue, different choice might affect the music. If you choose an aggressive answer, you might get more aggressive music than just a stale one. Kind of uh, follows the characters instead of the ambience. So, like if you're in a in a cavern and you have to have, want to have spooky music, you can have that versus the characters are really sad or happy. You can follow that instead. So it's more of a like mood ambience instead of uh, spatial ambience. Let's see how it pans out. Have you got a plan? I'll kill the nearest guy, then the next, then the next after that. Simple enough. I'm not a fighter, but I'll be right behind you. And that's all you get for now. <laughs> Flicky. Yeah. Why are you in here? Um. I'm getting the space. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is our meeting room turned into office for me and Dori. Uh, there's only one way for air to get in, so we have to have these on all of the time, even though it's winter. <laughs> and I needed my computer to have two monitors. So yes, everything's a mess. <laughs> Indie life. Hey, Erikur. Tell me about our fans. Oh, funny you should ask. <laughs> Uh, so we have a bunch of fans in our office and abroad and all around the world. So when we look around, we know we're surrounded by our fans, as well as our mechanical fans, which help the airflow. Come, come with me. So you may see these uh, yellow uh, uh, sticky notes. So over there in the corner, you, we have Hjalti, who is our uh, oldest fan, longest running. So he came to Mirkur when we were uh, only about seven or eight people and, and he became a fan. So that was really good. So uh, we put his name on there. And then we have Thordur, which uh, if anyone follows Mirkur on Facebook or Instagram or anywhere, you will see uh, either a like, a share or a comment on almost every post. So he earned his place as a big fan. Over here we have uh, Mr. President who is, uh, we have it on really good authority that uh, he is one of the biggest fans at least. Uh, he played our game and said we were basically the best studio in the world. So that's a really fun, fun thing. And then we have uh, Pieter. Uh, if, you, if you ever see uh, Tume appear in a vlog, 
we either get a personal message or a comment saying how lovely it is to see that blonde, beautiful boy. Pieter gets his place as the tiny personal fan on Timmy's desk. So now that we've covered all our fans, oh wait, there's one giant fan missing. So Mike Bode is probably our biggest fan ever. He's the only person to have flown to Iceland specifically to meet us. And he's a great guy as well, so uh, shout out to him. I'm doing mocap, locomotion, jogging, walking, sprinting. Are you going to have a Okay. <laughs> why are the why are they putting you in the suit? I don't know. You run like a girl. Yeah, <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> this is why we pay her the intern bucks. <laughs> yeah, I don't play it off the. Then they are. Hello. Doing what? Kicking? Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> so we haven't actually gotten to use the iPad in the space yet. They had to record running animations in here. But it turned out not to be this particular piece that was messing everything up. Well, it might have been, but it was also the cable we were using itself. So we got a, another cable, a much older, more weathered cable. And now I think the iPad is actually on. So we can start filming hopefully next week. There will be a vlog coming pretty soon where we will delve into how we make a scene in here. And we'll uh, show off this thing hopefully then if that starts working anytime soon. So thanks for watching.